My name is Sarah Contos. This exhibition is comprised of three different bodies of work, but all fit under this one banner, if you like, of looking at Australian cultural identities and reinventing them through embroidery and video and neon. When I was doing my masters at COFA, um, I kind of got stuck and I wasn't too sure about what my work was about. Um, so I would go to the op shops for inspiration and um, I saw an Olivia Newton-John cover in um, one of the $2 bins and I was quite mortified that this is what she's ended up as. So from that I started to embroid over her face to kind of lift her up into another icon status, if you like, um, changing her known identity into something greater and something more. So I've done Barry Crocker, um, Kamal, and it's usually Australians singing sensations, if you like, that are a little bit faded or outdated or a bit daggy. So the totems were a part of the work Souvenir, which was the video work of um, my eyes and Olivia Newton-John's kind of combined. And the totems are made up of um, those 1970s wood-turned kind of shelving arrangements that you can unscrew and kind of flat pack down with plaster kind of cast balloons, Australian woods and, you know, phallic objects from Indonesia. So combining those kind of things together is this kind of Polynesian, if you like, you know, a, a totem. And on top of them have scalps of album covers that didn't quite make it. So it's almost like a warning or, I don't know, like it could also be like a gravestone or a, something like that. So in the Olivia Newton-John work, I mean, there's a lot of you in that. It's your eyes, you're kind of channeling her or you're reappropriating her character yeah. or something. Yeah. Initially that work, um, Souvenir, was made for the Grant Peary window in Redfern. So um, I kind of wanted to create something that was moving, that passes by uh, a work that was watching people, if you like, and so it had this kind of play between the object and the viewer. Um, and then, I mean, it, it, it's almost like a gag work, you know, because you've always kind of seen it in the movies that, you know, someone's looking through the painting and spying on someone. So I kind of wanted to have this work in which me and Olivia come together and almost like a, a Frankensteinian kind of creation. And it's sitting there facing Barry Crocker? Yeah, so I kind of like this idea of man and woman, you know, yin and yang. But also they're kind of the same, so they're almost looking at each other, but they're not quite talking to it, one another. And I think they're quite strong works in themselves that they couldn't be anywhere near each other almost. So they're meant to be together, but at the same time they kind of repel one another. I think um, it's kind of like a sense of identity or a sense of culture in which I feel that I don't quite have. I mean, you know, my background is being from my, you know, my father's Greek and you know my mother's English, but I don't kind of ever kind of have that sense of an amazing culture. So it's almost like I'm trying to create one for myself through nostalgic items and then taking forms that I enjoy from the Maasai or from you know Navajo or um, <laughs> even like knitted crochet and kind of melding that together through touching it and holding it and being so close to it, I imbue it with this kind of fetishistic kind of quality of not only the sexual way that people think about fetishism, but also about that imbuing it with magical qualities and importance and reverence. And, and especially if the object is discarded, then it's made more of a special by touching it and feeling it and holding it up. So yeah, I think that I like, I like generous art and I like to kind of give that object a part of myself within making that because then I feel that other people will get the, will be able to feel it if you like and so I think especially like these kind of works it is kind of labour intensive and you know you do work with your hands and close up and you know only looking at their faces type thing. I think there's a there's a real kind of sense of play um, and I, but I also think there's a kind of sense of sadness to these people that they have ended up in the two dollar bin and um, you know people probably don't know who Barry Crocker is or Heather McKean or if you like so it's kind of got that duality of being quite fun and playful but also quite dark and brooding and melancholic at the same time. 